guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do my closet confidential tag and look, I'm not even really sure if I was ever tagged, but whatever, so I'm like, I'll do it. Anyways, so let's get straight into it. The oldest item in my wardrobe slash closet is, is, are these Air Jordan Retro 12s right here. Let me just tell you, once upon a time, the Notorious KIA was a serious sneakerhead and I have like a million pairs of Jordans from back in those days yeah those are the good old days I used to wear sneakers with everything huh? so these came out in January of 2004 which is a whole entire 10 years ago I was still in high school like without a worry in the world now I'm in the real world with every worry in the world <laughs> just joking all right so that's those And the newest item in my closet is actually this long line wool cardigan that I got from frontrowshop.com. I actually wore this in my spring haul video and I actually forgot to, to mention it. So this is the newest item. It's like super comfy and super warm, especially in like this iffy. I'm telling you, this weather in New York is so iffy. It doesn't know if it wants to be 50 degrees or 70 degrees. I'm like so over it. Like, ugh. So yeah, it's like really warm. It's like great. And I love it because it flows. <laughs> and I'm 5'7 and it fits it stretches to like the middle of my calf so it's like perfect it's like it's like a robe for outdoors and I just love it it's like really comfortable and the most expensive item in my closet has to be this monogram speedy 40 bag by Louis Vuitton honey and I got this maybe five or six years ago I used to wear this bag out like every day this was my bag I used to wear it straight like this I used to get my live you couldn't tell me nothing but that was back then and this is definitely not my style now it's just it's not like it's just not my style I'm just very affordable and I don't know it's just it's just not my style so I haven't really worn this bag in probably about two years now um, but it's it's classic it's a classic bag everybody should own at least one Louis Vuitton piece in their lifetime and I'm not talking about the Louis Vuitton that you get at Canal Street but that's neither here nor there um, I'm talking about a legit Louis Vuitton bag honey that you can nurture and you can pet. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm definitely going to save this bag for like my children. You know, give it to my daughter or my son. How you doing? And they can like get their life, you know, because I want to pass on that gift of giving life. And I'll just like stuff it with just life and just hand it off to them and just say, get your life now. You can get your life officially with your monogram speedy, honey. This watch that I actually got from Target. Um... Yeah, I wear this watch almost every day. It once was gold, now it's like a blonde kind of silvery kind of color. Like, I don't really know, and I'm still going to continue to wear it because I love this watch. Like, I've had it for about a year and a half now. Haven't had to replace the battery. I just love it. Like, it was probably like $5 from Target. It's a man's watch, and I just love the, the fact that it's a big face. It has the black in the inside. I just... So the biggest bargain in my closet is actually this denim coat from dresslink.com. It's like retro inspired, 90s inspired denim coat. Um, it's just everything. It's oversized and it's like perfect for this weather now. Um, it just adds just the right amount of flair to any outfit. You guys have seen this jacket in my music festival attire lookbook and one of my thrifted lookbooks. This is like perfect. I'll leave the link down in the description box to where you guys can get your life and get you one. Definitely, definitely need to get it. It's like $13. Amazing. Love it. Now, I define waste of money as clothes that I never worn. So that's about 95% of my closet, but we don't have time to sit here and, you know, just go through all the money that I've wasted. It. Whew, it like brings tears to my eyes. So I singled out one item because it's the most recent and it's one of the most expensive items. Okay, so the biggest waste of money has to be these Jeffrey Campbell shoes. And when I saw these on NeimanMarkets.com, I absolutely had to have them. Like they, I love them. I love the way they look. They were edgy. They were just my style. But I never wore them because I don't go out. I have nowhere to wear these. And they don't really fit well. Like I wear between like a nine and, and a ten, 
on, on average shoes. And Jeffrey Campbell, I typically wear a nine and a half. So I got a nine and a half and they're too big. And by the time I realized that they were too big, like the 60 days passed to return them. And there's no Neiman Marcus here in New York. So I would have had to go all the way to Jersey. And I just, I just didn't feel like going through that. But unfortunately for you guys, if you guys like these shoes, I'm now selling them on my Poshmark for a fraction of the price that I paid for them. So you can definitely go over there and get your life if you wear a size nine and a half and you love these shoes. So here is the biggest waste of money. Down the drain. <laughs> So that's none other than this hat. Like, I love this hat. Like, you guys see this all the time. And I'm surprised nobody has called me out on it and said, Kia, we have seen that hat five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. Like, get another hat. But I don't care. Like, this is my favorite hat. It looks great with everything. And it's big enough to go fit over my curly hair. Like, uh, like I love it. Like, I love this hat. I got it from Aldo and it was on sale when I got it for like $10. So I got in black and in brown. But I don't even wear the brown one as much as the black one. I don't know. I just love this hat. It goes with everything. So next, all right. So next on the list are these cutout booties that I got from Persian Mall. Um, dot com and I absolutely love these. I want to wear these every day, but I don't want the heel. I want to preserve them. I don't want the heel to start like rubbing and stuff. Like these shoes, when I say they are so versatile, they go good with everything: mom jeans, boyfriend jeans, skinny jeans, leggings, skirts, dresses, shorts, you name it. Sweatpants. They look great with everything, and I love, I just want to wear them every day. And they're super comfortable, like they're edgy, and they're just they're so my style. But I unfortunately I can't wear them every day because I want them to last. So I'm looking for you know something kind of similar. So if you guys know of any like shoes that are similar, they don't have to be black. I'm actually prefer them not to be black because I have a lot of black shoes. Um, but if you know of any other shoes that are similar to this, definitely let me know because I will go out there and purchase them. <laughs> All right, so these are from, once again, PersianMall.com. I'll leave the link below. Okay, so my last and final favorite item is actually this, <laughs> this bag that I got from Urban Outfitters probably two years ago. And during the summertime, spring and summertime, I wear this bag out. Like, this is my ride or die bag. Like, it can fit, like, a whole entire small child in here. Like, the bigger the bag the better definitely like I love it's it. kind of dirty and dingy but it just adds to my swag you know like, Can't wait. every time I wear the bag my sister like starts singing bag a lady you gonna hurt your back but I don't care <laughs> I love this bag <laughs> it's everything like why am I sitting here hugging and this is filthy like it used to be white now it's like an off-white color but I don't care I'm gonna wear it again this summer and who gonna check me boo who gonna check me? So that completes my closet confidential tag. Um, the questions that came along with that, but in True Notorious KI fashion, I had to throw in like two more questions of my own to just spice it up a bit to make it a little bit more fun or whatever. <laughs> um, you guys can follow along and do this version or the old version or remix it yourself. Like that's what great was great about the internet and that's what's great about life. You can make things your own. So um, for the first question that I'm gonna add to the closet confidential tag is. And I'm really excited because I never showed you guys this. This was prior to my YouTube days. I probably made this in 2009. And this this Balmain inspired motorcycle jacket. And I pretty much added spikes here. And I added safety pins here. And then I took like a splash of like lime green acrylic paint and like splashed it on it. Oh my god, I'm like so proud of this. This I've had this for years now and I don't even wear it anymore but it just reminds me of where I started and <laughs> my love for DIYing my love for fashion how it just it started and it just transformed this jacket started it all from this jacket I became the Notorious Kay here on YouTube and Notorious Kay that you guys know today like this jacket is just a constant reminder of everything I've been through where I want to go and I don't know, just my vision. It's, it's very inspiring. So I just hang it in my closet, you know, when I'm flipping through my jackets or whatever, I, I see and I just get instantly inspired again because this is one of the first, well, probably the first DIY creation that has actually just been magnificent. Like, ugh, love it. <laughs> okay, so, so moving on to the last question that I created, which is... Item in my 
closet that I have a love-hate relationship for definitely has to be shoes and why because they hurt my feet like they're so cute but they hurt and these are these that I got from um, from Baker's like they look like they're supposed to be like super sporty and super comfortable but they don't I'm not sure like where the disconnect is but I can't have these on for more than like five minutes without screaming bloody murder like seriously like I would wear these they're like so cute on I would wear these like so much more but they just hurt like they look great with like mom jeans and boyfriend jeans and all the things that I wear skirts and dresses like they just add like this edgy touch to them and these are kind of like you either love them or you like completely hate them which is fine with me that's usually how my style is like people either love it or they like completely hate it and that's whatever like it's unique but I love these I just wish I can wear them more like they hurt my feet like I'm probably gonna try to find some insoles or something for them whatever so that completes my closet confidential tag I hope you guys found it entertaining and funny you laughed a little bit like I'm silly I had so much fun doing it um so I tag all of you guys I want to know like tell me what's in your closet tell me your deepest darkest secrets honey I want to know <laughs> Send me a link, let me know, you know, if you do the video, send me a link to it. I want to see it. Um, you guys can email me the questions. Like, it, it's super fun. Like, I want this experience to be very interactive. I don't want to just be on this end of the camera and you guys there. Like, I want us to interact and, you know, send me emails and I'll respond to you guys' comments as quickly as I can. I'm sorry, yeah, somebody's calling me right now, but they're going to have to wait because I'm here with you guys. I'm here. So, yeah, guys, um, definitely follow me at the Notorious KIA on pretty much any platform. And until next time, guys, peace and dopeness let's get into it like please don't mind me like I'm schizophrenic I know I have like a slight case of schizophrenia I promise you like multiple personalities like I'm just all over the place I don't you know what I was a middle child so middle child you had to learn to play with yourself you did I had like so many imaginary friends like Barbies were my best friend like I'm sorry if I come across a little crazy, but that's just my personality and you guys have to accept me for who I am because that's what you have to do. Like God said so. Like that's my issue. Like, I'm always buying things and I don't end up wearing it because I'm saving it for some magical date. Like no, just wear it. <laughs> Moving on to the second question. Like that was just extra. <laughs> Not that I would flick that hair because I probably had some Brazilian to my butt crack. I used to flick it and you couldn't tell me anything, honey. Mm -hmm.